Tim Bradley lights into Shakur Stevenson and they have a big back and forth as the former world champion, Hall of Fame fighter, commentator on ESPN and writer said that Shakur Stevenson, like most many young boxers, are attention H W H O R E S attention whores. And not only did he call him that, he blasted him for a big mistake that he made, Shakur Stevenson made against Arthur Harchunian. Let's talk about that and the response from Shakur Stevenson in this video. Oh, yeah, the eternal battle between the old school and the new school as the new school turns into the old school. And then the old the new old school will have some new brats come up behind them telling them what the business is. (laughs) That is the case or the experience of Tim Bradley right about now as he deals with the aftermath of Shakur Stevenson putting a whole lot of people to sleep. In his win, a one-sided win against Artunium and <laughs> Bill and uh, Tim Bradley acts a fool on uh, on Shakur Stevenson talks about Shakur Stevenson rough, uh, something I didn't expect. But hey, man, believe it, believe it. Shakur Stevenson uh, came back. And (laughs) let people know what he had to say about uh, what Tim Bradley had to say. But let's talk about Tim Bradley first. But before I do, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for checking us, checking the channel out. Thank you to the members. Thank you to everybody who just watches videos all the time. And thanks to the people that actually support the channel and the super chats and the super thanks uh, videos like this. Matty, yo, you the king of it. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, Sean Denton, I hope you're doing well. Uh, but let's let's uh, Shoney D hope you're doing well as uh, also. But let's get into this because, uh, uh, man, Tim Bradley uh, <laughs> said that Shakur Stevenson cannot be compared to Javante Davis. And because they are not the same type of fighter, you're not going to get the same type of um results out of Shakur Stevenson than you will get out of a Gervonta Davis. But Shakur Stevenson is still a dominant fighter who in his last fight with Artunium dominated the entire fight, won the fight easy. But, you know, he wasn't able to do what he needed to do to get the knockout. I think that that is the most uh, fair explanation or or recap of what Tim Bradley's position was. However, that ain't enough for Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley got a light off onto what he thinks about the mentality of Shakur Stevenson. And he said, number one, that Shakur Stevenson, like a lot of these young fighters, are attention, H-O-R-E's, attention whores. (laughs) And they are at the Twitter, that they're on Twitter all the time, talking, uh, saying a bunch of stuff. Uh, and but then getting up in the ring and not being able to back up what they said outside the ring, right? Um, he also, you know, was responding because shoot, man, Shakur Stevenson has been real rough on him, calling him, uh, um, what do you call him, Mr. Potato Head? You know, all the bald insults that us bald people get, uh. Tired insults, really, but whatever. Shakur Stevenson had had his way with uh, talking bad about uh, Tim Bradley. Um, also, talk bad about another guy, former world champion by the name of Ishe Smith. So you know, Shakur Stevenson ain't trying to hear none of that on social media. Not none of it. None of it. Uh, including from Tim Bradley. But Tim Bradley, I thought, had some legitimate points. Like, for example, when he brought up the argument that took place between Wally, uh, I think it's Wally Muhammad. Please forgive me if I'm messing up just uh, the father's, uh, uh, the grandfather's name. Uh, But his grandfather, who was the trainer in Shakur, where the grandfather, well, I think it's Wally Moses, Wally Moses, sorry, Wally Moses, um, where 
his uh, grandfather is trying to tell him to do one thing, but Shakur is arguing with him the whole time, like, you know, not listening to the instructions being very difficult to uh, to instruct. And that, I think, really is a legitimate problem because you are um, you're discouraging somebody from giving you, you know, an expert right there, you know, uh, viewpoint, like knows what you're working on, knows what you're capable of, also can see from other, uh, you know, completely different angle, what's going on with and with what the uh, your opponent's doing, and you don't want to listen to that. Most really good fighters are in their corner, being very, very attentive. Andre Ward, very attentive to what is being said by what was being said by Virgil Hunter. Floyd Mayweather Jr. was always very attentive to what was being said by Roger Mayweather or Floyd Mayweather Sr. I mean, that was just a strikingly bad look. Uh, for Shakur Stevenson, and I agree 100% with Tim Bradley, and that that's got to be worked out. Otherwise, you know, how are you going to be able to make adjustments just by yourself? Um, you could have so many different things that could be seen by your corner to help you through a fight, and for you to not only just fr- you know frustrate them, uh, listen, not listen to them, but like actively fight with them. Man, you before long, you're going to have somebody in your corner just taking a check. Then, like what Tim Bradley said, like, oh, if all you want me to do is carry your water, no worry, I'll carry your water. Give me my pay, give me my paycheck for carrying your water if you don't want to listen. So that was just a bad, that was just a bad look all the way around. As far as the attention stuff, I mean, it's social media. It's the social media era. era, uh, era. Everybody wanted attention when Tim Bradley was young. I'm Tim Bradley. I'm older than Tim Bradley, but shoot, everybody was still talking, man. We just didn't have the we just didn't have the uh, Twitter, the ability to do that. You know, you had to actually. Yeah. You had to actually make a newspaper or something for somebody to be caring about, uh, you know, what you're thinking, you know, in that, uh, you know, on as much as it is now. I mean, you can immediately publish your comments now, which just wasn't the case when Tim Bradley was coming through in the in the mid 90s, uh, growing up in the growing up in the early 90s. Um into the 2000s when he started fighting professionally. Nah, I'm not. I think he's overreacting with that. But um, I do believe that he is right about Shakur Stevenson just ain't Javante Davis. And the fact that people are being holding like fighters to the same standard that they hold uh, Javante Davis as far as providing a level of excitement and you know that's just not Shakur Stevenson that's not Devin Haney that's not Lomachenko that's something that is pretty much you know for Javante Davis and a talent of Javante Davis's and so I can there is going to be a level of frustration with the other fighters who don't believe that they who don't just don't have the ability to match that because they don't have the specific you know, talents and attributes necessary to do that. Not everybody can do what Gervonta's doing, which is what makes him an exceptional fighter. And people should, you know, may maybe people might want to start giving him his credit. But I agree with Tim Bradley when he says, "You look, Shakur Stevenson's a, still an excellent, excellent fighter, but you're just not going to see the type of knockouts and stoppages you can get from Gervonta." But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.